If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports news. Whether you are a Patriots fan or not, this is the perfect way to meet all of your sports needs and is a platform I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to catch me live talking about training camp recaps, etc. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video. And with breaking news, the New England Patriots have made another trade. Uh, yet again, this is a player on their own team that they've traded as they have traded defensive back Keon Crossan to the Houston Texans for a sixth round pick. Now, I will say that this was a very surprising move to me as I thought Keon Crossan was going to be a lock especially with his special team's ability. Again, Brandon Kane's out for the season. Nate Ebner has a lot of issues with staying healthy, um, and he's still dealing with injuries. And Keon Crossan is really a main special teamer. He does play some time on the defensive side, but has made more plays on the special teams-wise. And I definitely was expecting him to play a role in that this upcoming season. Before we get more into this, I do want to say that part of this move also came with uh, wide receiver slash special team specialist Gunnar Olszewski actually being brought back to the team. Now, like always, guys, I am going to be doing a video on the final cuts and the final roster, two separate videos, but I did post saying that the Patriots did release Gunnar because they originally did. They actually notified him that they were going to release him, and then they decided to bring him back. Keon is still a very young player. He's only 23 years old. One of the best things I liked about him was who he was off the field. He was a really great guy. Uh, I don't know if anyone else follows him on social media, but he does these, these posts, these types of religious types of posts, and uh, it's kind of like a give back type of thing, and I really enjoyed those, and that's why I'll continue to follow him. But ever since joining the team, day one of practice, he's been a guy to watch. I mean, I remember last offseason around this time, the question was, who the heck are the Patriots going to keep, J.C. Jackson or Keon Crossan? And then obviously they decided to keep both. To me, the biggest thing here is that they traded him for a sixth round pick, okay? They originally drafted him in 2018, in which they drafted him with the seventh round pick. And to me, and this could just be my personal opinion, but I think they could have gotten a fifth round pick for Keon Crossan. I believe that he is at least worth a fifth round pick. And I understand that the Patriots have a lot of depth in the secondary, and that was really one of the big questions is what the heck are the Patriots going to do with all the depth at cornerback? But the thing is they already traded Duke Dawson to the Broncos yesterday. And now they trade another cornerback and who some is who is someone that I seriously thought was going to play a pretty vital role, at least in special teams. Now, defensive wise, Keon Crossan has done some good things, but he's also had some issues. He's had some penalty calls. He's also had some issues letting the ball uh, get caught by whoever he's covering. New England didn't play him too much at defensive back during the regular season, but there definitely was time that we saw him, and there were definitely times that we got frustrated when he was on the field. Now, on Thursday versus the final preseason game versus the Giants, he was off to a bit of a rough start, but he finished the night extremely well. He ended up becoming a lockdown corner. He had an interception, a really good interception, um, dragging the feet, making sure that he kept it in in order to secure the interception. And it was something that the teammates just went crazy for for Keon Crossan. He's also a pretty speedy guy, and because of that, that is why Bill Belichick kind of rotated him to special teams, and why I think that he did so well on special teams. I mean, he had 113 total snaps on special teams as a rookie last season. I saw a bunch of reports coming out that were saying that he was most likely going to be probably the sixth cornerback on the Patriots depth chart, of course, because you have Jonathan Jones, JC Jackson, Juwan Williams, Stephon Gilmore, Jason McCourty. And it definitely, for me, isn't that I think Keon Crossan was going to play a key role in the Patriots secondary, but if any of these guys get hurt, he would be a very good vital backup piece for the Patriots. All in all, though, the Patriots really have to make a bunch of cuts in order to get down to the final 53 roster, and there's still, I'm sure, some holes that they want to fill. I'm sure that they're, because of all the guys that are being released by, by all the teams, over a few hundred guys, honestly that the Patriots are going to want to make some signings for the guys that got released, so of course they're going to have to make some tough decisions. If you're a Texans fan and you're watching this, I would definitely say that you're getting a very good special teams guy. He'll make some plays for you there without a doubt. Uh, I think he still needs some more development when it comes to playing as a defensive back. He has the speed to do so, but I think what he really needs is more experience. He hasn't had too much experience at it. 
there's just times where he lets his target get away he allows too much separation so that's really just something you have to work on but I think with time he could easily really limit that it makes sense for the Texans as they obviously do need some help in their secondary uh, and Keon Crossan will be joining some former Patriots guys like AJ Moore and uh, Jonathan Batamosi or Johnson Batamosi I'm sorry Last tip I will give to any Texans fans watching this is that he's not a big corner, okay? He's 5'10", his vertical leap wasn't anything to brag about, so putting him up against taller receivers is going to be an issue for him, and something that I kind of saw in his play with that would kind of relate back to someone like Malcolm Butler. Malcolm Butler being a smaller corner, he was aggressive, but he had some issues because of his height. He had some issues letting his receiver get away and also allowing too much separation. I think that they share those two similarities. So ultimately, if you're going to play him, try to play him against smaller receivers. If you can give Keon Crossan some type of height advantage, then he's going to do well for you. But that is it for today's video. The New England Patriots have traded Keon Crossan. After just one season with the team, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. A lot of moves are happening. Of course, I'm going to be making more videos on these cuts and signings, and they are stuff you do not want to miss out on. So make sure if you are subscribed or not subscribed yet, that you do subscribe and hit that bell notification. Please also make sure you guys like this video as it seriously helps me in the production of more videos in the future. Make sure you guys share this with everybody knows when go to Pages Global Family. Other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.